We turn now to the impeachment trial of President Trump. The president's legal team wraps up its opening arguments today, but the real battle over whether witnesses will be called to testify in the Senate impeachment trial remains to be settled. CBS 4 Skyler Henry has more details from Capitol Hill. President Trump's legal team is trying to convince senators the president did nothing wrong when he asked Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. The transcript shows that the president did not condition either security assistance or a meeting on anything. But President Trump may have said something different to his former national security advisor John Bolton. According to the New York Times, Bolton writes in his upcoming book that President Trump directly linked military aid to Ukraine to an investigation into the Bidens. President Trump's attorneys largely ignored the Bolton news until late Monday night. Nothing in the Bolton revelations, even if true, would rise to the level of an abuse of power or an impeachable offense. Some Republican senators say the Bolton development increases the chances at least four Republicans will vote with Democrats to hear new witnesses. Each individual is going to make their own decision, and they're not, I don't think they're all settled uh, as a group or as individuals as to exactly how they're going to vote. Uh, but I'd like to hear from John Bolton. Pennsylvania Republican Pat Toomey is pushing a witness swap where the GOP will allow John Bolton to testify in exchange for a witness that supports the president's defense. But that plan is already meeting with resistance. We're not bargaining with them. We want four witnesses and four sets of documents. Then the truth will come out. Joe and Hunter Biden remain high on the Republican wish list of witnesses. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. After the president's team wraps up its case, senators will get 16 hours to question both sides. The question and answer period is likely to begin tomorrow.